All right, finally time for Foodie Friday. A pretty fun Hawaiian twist on today's uh -huh. segment. Yeah, a new restaurant in Portland's Pearl offering a taste of the Hawaiian Islands mixed with some Western flair. Yeah, this is a fun spot to add to your list. Fools and Horses draws inspiration for its menu from the Paniolo Cowboys of Hawaii. Joining us in studio with more on the cool new date night spot is <laughs> Chef Alex Wong. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so this is a, a really fun new bar and restaurant. You guys opened earlier. Earlier this year uh, in yeah. September, right? Yes. Um, tell us about the new spot. Yeah, so it's a cocktail forward restaurant. We're in the Pearl, which is really great. A lot of foot traffic, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we created a couple of menus that uh, kind of center around Paniolos, Hawaiian cowboys, and uh, Portuguese immigrants that, you know, were their original uh, cowboys that immigrated over. Wow. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. What so, a what a what a mixing of cultures. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean that's Hawaii in, mm -hmm. in a in a nutshell, and I, we just want to put honor to all of those peoples, specifically all of those food stories. And um, I lived in Portugal, so you know I pull from that kind of European style of food uh, pre presentation. And uh, yeah. It's, wow. It's Super fun. cool. That's really really cool. How does that come out in terms of in terms of your in terms of your food here? Yeah, so <clears throat> I get a, I get a lot of questions about you know what is Paniolo food and what mm -hmm. is it's you know we're going after kind of that Portugal um, Portuguese you know uh, influence and also people that work really hard to do what they do every day just like everywhere everywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of you know there's some soy but there's a lot of you know Portuguese olive oil and fish mm. you know stuff we grew up eating and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, yeah. so yeah, you brought in a paniolo board uh, this did. morning. So tell us what's <laughs> on here. Yeah, so you know it's a, our take on a classic cheese board and, okay. and charcuterie board, um, but we put on a pipi caula, which is a um, cured kind of jerky that we um, dry roast and marinate in mm -hmm. um, chili pepper water, which is um, is a kind of fermented hot sauce that would, everybody kind of. Kind of eats back yeah, home. Yeah, this okay. caught my eye as soon as we sat down. I saw this bottle. So that's what the bottle is. Like, yeah, is so this? that's that. <laughs> that is a that's a cla and that's how my uncles used to make it. You know, drink a bunch of liquor, mm. have a <laughs> have a bunch of uh, hot sauce on the side, and um, yeah. Wow, it's, it's, that's packed with flavor. That is a that is a phenomenal flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got some salt. It's got everything. You know what? Hopefully, what a cowboy needs to go about their yeah, day. Yeah, you, you need Yum. your protein. There you go. And then, okay, and so one of our co-workers who's also from Hawaii was very excited about this butter. Yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> that's lily koi butter or uh -huh. passion fruit butter that hmm. you can find it anywhere in Hawaii where it's, uh, you know, people at farmer's markets really like, mm -hmm. really kind of run with it. And, okay. And it's very sweet, but... Ooh. Um, what about it is what about it is different? Like what's in it that makes it, makes it different? Try it. Taste it. You'll see. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> give it, give it a big bite. There you go. Now I know why Lisa was so excited about this butter. Yes, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's it really good. But like, what is in it? Like, so, what is... so it's passion fruit um, mm. puree, mm. and it's a wow. and, and there sweetness. are there is eggs in there. Yeah. And basically, you cook it down and, and make a compote butter. Uh, wow, butter. Mm. that is that the flavors are just there. That's, that's incredible. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah. We we were showing just a couple pictures of the inside of the space, and I mm -hmm. kind of wanted to to go back to that. I want to make sure people kind of get a sense. Of the vibe yeah, of this the, place. Yeah, the ambiance that's there. The first there. time I walked in, I was just like, wow. Like, it's the, the decor is so cool. It's very dark, but very cozy. What For was sure. it like to put the space together? Oh, man. It was, it, my owner really, like, loves creating curated spaces. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, it's, it's really kind of a smoky vibe that, mm -hmm. you know, you can take a day to um, sit down, have a nice wine, have great whiskey and, and great food. That's what I was going to ask you about the, the cocktail side, because you, you brought that up at the beginning, you know, date night spot, it's about mm -hmm. to grab a drink. Um, cocktails, you know, what, what kind of stands out to you? So I asked the boys and they were like, oh man, <laughs> you should put this up. We have a, a Paniolo cocktail. Mm. It's a bourbon infused uh, milk punch. Oh, um, wow. Or pineapple bourbon infused milk punch. Sorry. Oh, wow. They're, they're bar chefs. It's, they're doing some <laughs> fun stuff. It's a science that experiment really back cool. there. Yeah. That's oh gosh, so nice. Yeah, I was like, what are we looking at? Yeah, wow. so that is oh, we kind of, we're, a bunch we're of the cocktails. Yeah. yeah, a bunch <laughs> of cocktails. Which one's your favorite? What stands out to you? Which one do you like to order? Honestly, I like the Pauhana. It's like a take on Pog juice or Passion oh, Orange. Love yeah, Pog. so like yes. it's, it's got, it's boozy, it's great. Mm -hmm. Easy to drink. 
Nice. Super yeah. fun. Yeah, that's great. I feel like, especially in a foodie city like Portland, it's hard to sometimes find a lane that isn't already kind of crowded. Yeah, it can be kind of saturated. Gotcha. I yeah. can't think of another space that kind of has these flavors. Totally. This influence, this fusion. It's really, really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Know you. Doing some fun well stuff over there. Very well yeah. done. Are you taking reservations for dinner? How can people come in? Yeah, so we're taking reservations on Talk. We can. We have an Instagram. We have a website that we uh, they can go to, and okay. we honestly love walk-ins. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. just walk in, go check out the walk bar. Walk in, check us yeah. out. That's great. If you yeah. do, if you do walk in, is it easy to find a spot, or is it? It's it's pretty easy, okay. you know. And we have a sister bar next door, Pink Rabbit, that we kind of cycle through mm -hmm. um, gotcha. each other's wait list. You know there you mean? go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's it. Sounds like a great partnership to me. Kind of uh -huh. like this butter and bread because that is delicious. Goes that together, is very well bread done. Bread and Lilliput butter. It. Now yeah. we know. Mm, yum. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have to ask Lisa for some of hers. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is this is wonderful. Chef Alex, thank Appreciate you so much it. for joining us. Thanks Great to have us. you here. Mm -hmm. Appreciate and it. Go check out Fools and Horses. It's located on Northwest 12th and Everett, right next to the Pink Rabbit. Make reservations and check out their full menu online. You can learn more at foolsandhorsespdx.com. All right.